Good afternoon, humans. Today is August 7th, 2013, and it is day seven of Vita. Look at that. I finished seven days, a whole week. And you are watching me play the piano. part of a piece I performed at my senior recital in April. I bet you weren't expecting me to whip that out, were you? Handel's Suite number 7, the Allegro movement. I started learning piano when I was 7. My next door neighbor was giving my brother piano lessons and he ended up quitting. He seemed to be more interested in guitar, like what my dad plays. My parents figured that since they just bought a new piano, they might as well have one of their kids playing. So, of course, I was next in line to start learning piano. I only stuck with it for a year. I don't really remember anything from the actual piano lessons with that teacher, but I do remember being forced to sit down at the piano by my dad and me sitting there crying, not wanting to practice, and him sitting right next to me trying to push me, okay, let's play this, let's play that, all right. And, yeah, I just quit. After I quit, I started dance lessons and violin at school. You'll never hear me play violin. I hate the way I sound when I play, and I've been playing for a solid 13 years, more years than piano. When I was 12, I started piano lessons again, this time with a teacher who taught out of her really small apartment. Now don't get me wrong, I'm all for teachers teaching in their own homes. Saves on rent. However, if you can't separate business and family life, your students are going to suffer. I remember during my lessons, my piano teacher's son would come up to the edge of the piano and listen to me play during my lesson. That's not okay. I would get really distracted and nervous whenever he did that. Every time he did that, the teacher would have to stop and tell her son, hey, go over there, go over there. And at least twice a lesson, she'd have to do that. It was distracting for both me and her. I ended up quitting lessons with her after about a year. There's a story to that. I had invited a friend over to hang out, but I also had to go to my piano lesson, so she tagged along for that. I sat through my piano lesson, playing my pieces just right. The teacher turned the page to the next piece, and to my horror, it was the Hokey Pokey. Now imagine 13 year old me playing the Hokey Pokey in front of my friend, someone I was trying to be cool for. Look at me, I play piano. And then I'm forced to play the Hokey Pokey. It was totally embarrassing and I quit her after that. So I continued violin through junior high, never really practicing on my own, just playing in orchestra. I kept on with it for the sake of learning an instrument. However, when I got to high school, I realized that piano was my one true love. So I decided to enroll with a new teacher. They say third time's a charm, right? That proved to be the case here. When we were looking for a new piano teacher, my dad found this wonderful Russian teacher online. She seemed very well educated, an advanced pianist, and strict. That's exactly what I wanted. I went to the trial lesson and I tried to play a piece that I had been learning on my own, which was way too advanced for my own level. She accepted me into her studio anyways, and I'm so grateful for that. She taught me about scales. She taught me about musicianship, how to really portray your emotion through your performance. She required more practice time than I ever thought possible. She put me through competitions, performance evaluations, and public performances. She wasn't the kind of teacher who was okay with mediocrity, and I loved it. I loved that I had to work hard to impress her. That's the way I learn. I need someone to tell me that I suck so that I can push myself harder. After only three years with her, I ended up wanting to pursue music at the university level. Now let's do the math. At this point, I had taken a total of five years of piano studies. Usually, pianists who go to the university level have been studying piano solidly since they were four years old. But we worked hard and she prepared me very well for my two auditions to two different universities. And I can say that I passed both auditions. Of course, I can't go to two universities, so I ended up picking one. Anyways, throughout my university studies, I quickly understood that I was the underdog. Like I said before, everyone who was in the studio had taken lessons for a very, very long time. I couldn't sight read. It took me forever to learn all my music, and I had performance issues on stage. Luckily, my professors were very patient with me, and they helped me progress along the way. In April, I held my first solo recital, about 30 minutes of memorized piano music. That was definitely the peak of my piano career. I do hope to have another recital someday. I definitely need to have one in 2022. If you check out my recital poster, I actually wrote the wrong year on it. Of course, everyone understood when the recital was gonna be, 
but I think I wrote 2022, so now I really have to have a recital in 2022. And that's my life story about piano. I hope it continues for the rest of my life. I also dabbled in choir and marching band while I was in high school, and I plan on learning some other instruments, like the accordion or that Chinese lute zither thing. So I'm wondering, do you guys play any instruments? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Anyways, see you tomorrow.